by killing her, I think it was an example they wanted to set up. Set, you know, if you are going to be so against Hindutva or against, uh, you know, pro minority, then you need to be total lesson kind of thing. Who would plan one year to kill a five five foot small scrawny little girl? I mean, a little woman, you know. When by killing uh, Pansare, they, I mean, protest did happen, but not widely, not much. And uh, the same thing happened with Dabolkar. There were a lot, much more protests. In Kalburgi, of course, there were some protests here. But with Gauri's killing also, they thought it'll be, it'll whimper, whimper and go away, the whole issue. You know? But they never knew that when by killing her, there was a roar which started. That I am Gauri kind of thing went all over the country, all over the world. What was it to grow up in a uh, in a household which is progressive, which is secular, to uh, it, it, daring uh, in a lot of ways? And at this point, we were all very, very lower middle class financially. In that sense, you know, we had uh, we had to struggle to pay our school fees, and we had to struggle for every month's ration. All that was going on. I and mean, in that, that way, I think my mother also was a large contributor in terms of she she was insisting be seeing all the penury and the poverty at home. She would say we should stand on our own free feet, women especially should be economically independent. You know, so she was insisting on that. But my father, in the other sense, was uh, very very he didn't even know which standard we were studying in. You know, but at the same time, he would give us uh, when things started improving, when money started coming in a bit, he would give us a blank check to say. Go and buy any books you want, you know. So that kind of helped us read, you know, international books from all over the world. But my mother knew only two careers, like all Indian typical families, either engineer or doctor. So Gauri refused <laughs> to do any anything to do with science, and she said, "I'm going to do, you know, journalism. I want to do that." And yeah, with the reluctance, they agreed. What sort of person uh, Gauri Lankesh was? Was she different as a journalist when compared to the, uh, you know, uh, the person that she was really at home around your children? So she was very, very invested in whatever she did, I think. And that's exactly why probably her passion and fervor, she was not a fake person that way. You know, she was, she always put her heart on the sleeve, as you say. She would, uh, like, for instance, even on social media, I don't think she was, uh, you know, whatever she felt at the spur of the moment, she would just talk about it, you know, she would talk to them and uh, whether it's in anger, whether it's in love, with love, as I wrote in your quid, saying that uh, some people when they said things which was not, uh, which she didn't agree with, she would say, you know, Gari tappi maga ba coffee kuriya na, you know, so it's, yeah, it means basically you've lost your way, come let's have a coffee. So she would be as kind as that, I think. And there were protests that happened all over the world when she was assassinated. What touched me most also, there was one lady, one of her colleagues had written about it. And one, one, uh, you know, there was only one single lady from some small little village. And she carried a placard saying, Nanu Gauri, I'm Gauri. And she walked to this uh, town center, a small circle. And she stood there for two, three hours. And after that, she moved to another small town nearby. And she stood there with the placard, I'm Gauri. Her way of protesting and showing solidarity towards Gauri. So what mattered to me was that also touched me equally. And I'm sure if Gauri was there in the sense, you know, even that person would have mattered, not just protesting uh, either abroad, international or here, large numbers. As much as that would matter, this also mattered to her. I knew she was getting a lot of um, cases slapped on her. 
I knew people were trolling her. And at one at one point, she had told me very jokingly and proudly, "I'm on the hit list." I had no clue what she was talking about. What do you mean hit list? You must be crazy. I had said, you know, because I didn't think she was making that much of a noise or that much of a. I didn't know she had effect on so many people that way or uh, for or against. Two days before she went home on Sunday, she was assassinated on Tuesday. Sunday, she told my mom somebody was lurking around the house, you know, uh, funnily and a little fishy. I don't know who it is, but must be somebody. She just dismissed it all, and we also didn't think of it. But after a few days after she was assassinated, because of course we were all numb struck during that first few days, and then my mother remembered and told the investigation officer. Once there was a in the Sahitya Sammelan and she moved her. She was not allowed to come. Finally, they allowed her to come and speak on the stage. So, and one of her colleagues was, uh, you know, black ink and everything. So, so, these kind of things I have seen from my father's time. Both of us, Gauri and me, have seen it. You know, get protests happening in the offices, or some 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 article which uh, you know which people didn't agree with, throw stones or things like that. So that's the maximum kind of thing. Nobody ever, uh, you know, attacked my father, who had brought down government at that point, you know, and written uh, very, very uh, exposed a lot of corruptions, a lot of things. But nobody had ever come come to the stage where they could harm him even a bit. So I do, I didn't ever expect Gauri to be killed like that. She would have been sitting in protest uh, against the CAA, for instance, and. Um, Uh, of course, uh, the farmers at station. She was always with the farmers in Mandya. For instance, the number of suicides that happened. She went and they all did a you know research and uh, wrote about it extensively in a paper. It could be a small case, but it's it's if it's worth it, it will go nationally. If it's a big news, it will go all over. And I think Gauri would uh, would be of course be uh, you know uh, aghast at this whole because there's snooping happening around. You know, recently the Canada, the part of the what's more town, Canada, had declared September 5th as Gauri Day. And when I posted it, uh, there were a lot of uh, people who had some, of course, many of them had you know congratulated and said proud of Gauri, she deserved it. And some, of course, questioned why should, what is she, what has she done to deserve it, kind of thing. But for me, I just thought about it more than what she's done. I think what she stood for was important. What she stood for was harmony, was secularism, democracy. Constitution. This is what he stood for. We are truthful, unafraid, and independent because of you. Now you can help our reporting from the ground. Go to the quint.com, click Become a Member tab, choose a plan, and pay because the truth is worth it.